This is Joe over at Allen Ed's Auto Sound, Marina Del Rey. I'm here in a 2012 Toyota Prius, ILX 107 from Alpine. It's gonna be one of the first few demos. I'm here in a 2012 Toyota Prius. Had a big navigation touchscreen right here, but recently the client switched it for a new Alpine ILX 107 model which does wireless Apple CarPlay. So as you can see, I started it up about 15 to 25 seconds for it to fully populate the CarPlay screen. Right here is my phone. There is no cable plugged into it like originally you had to do with the other brands and models that they make. This is the only aftermarket wireless brand, completely wireless guys. All you gotta do is hop in, turn on your car and go. As long as it's been paired initially and no settings have changed, you're able to control everything all via the touch screen. So I'm just gonna mount it so you can see what it's doing to the phone when we control it. You now have a main home button. You're able to select Apple CarPlay. You can go to your phone. Mm -hmm. It automatically triggers Siri because she wants to take your voice commands to keep you safe and legal while you're in the car. I can choose my music. On this car and most of your newer cars, we're able to keep the stock steering wheel controls working. I'm able to change tracks via the steering wheel. I can choose maps. It'll display your maps. It'll display everything. So right now I got Apple Maps going in the background. I'll hit home screen. Let me go to Pandora. This radio even has a backup camera hooked up to it. So every time you shift the car into reverse, you'll see what's behind you. These cones and guidelines are overlaid on the screen, so they are adjustable. So depending on the width of your car or where the camera is mounted, you can adjust that. So while we're playing Pandora, the map is running. I can cancel the map destination and just see it visually. We're able to select the 3D map function. It shows me the signal strength, battery strength. Really the way this is working is via Wi-Fi, but you still have your LTE working. The Bluetooth is just using it as a trigger or a handshake to let it know that it came into proximity of the radio. I can even do Spotify. I can find my own playlist, my liked songs. Push Siri to give her a command. Siri, call easy. Calling easy. What's up, Joe? Easy, what's up? I'm just in the Prius testing uh, the new CarPlay unit. Sounds loud and clear. Phone buttons do work, guys. Don't even need to touch the screen. So I can hit the end button right here on the steering wheel and it automatically ends the call. Same thing for answer. So when an incoming call is coming, just the answer button, it'll pick it up. Now this radio does have your basic AM, FM with presets. So just press and hold. This unit is compatible with the iDatalink Maestro piece for OEM functions. You can see the camera while you're driving, so if you tow anything or have a bike rack, want to keep an eye on it, or have a limited visibility on your rear view mirror, hit the X, makes it go away. It does have three pre-outs, so you could build an audio system out of here. You got your basic balance, fader, bass, treble, subwoofer, bass engine, media expander, and even a full equalizer. These are your different application settings, display settings, brightness, and color. Or you hit the middle button again, CarPlay, play. It'll kick CarPlay back in where it originally started. ILX 107 from Alpine in a 2012 Prius. So if you guys have any questions, we're very familiar with it. Feel free to give us a call. 310-827-8121. Uh -huh.